Well, apparently Gemini Nano Banana Pro is now available in Google Docs. Now, this is actually not quite official because when I'm doing a research for this video, I found zero information about Gemini Nano Banana Pro being available in Google Docs. But I'm pretty sure that this picture that I just created directly in Google Docs was indeed created by Gemini Nano Banana Pro because this picture has 2K resolution and that is simply not possible for the regular version of Nano Banana which is only able to generate up to 1K pictures. So if you want to get something like 2K or even 4K, you need Gemini Nano Banana Pro. And not to mention the other platforms like Google Slides, Google Feeds, Gemini, and of course, not WLM. I already have uh, Nano Banana in the platform, so there is no reason for Google to not include that model directly in Google Docs. So with that being said, let me show you how you can generate a picture using Gemini Nano Banana Pro directly in Google Docs. So first, let's open Google Docs. And after that, you can start a new document. You can also just open the one that you have on your Google Docs account. In this case, I'll just open a blank document. And there are two ways you can access this image generation capability. So the first option is by clicking on this Gemini icon if you have that access, or if you're subscribing to the Google AI Pro or Google AI Ultra Plan, you can you can see this Gemini button and then you can describe the picture that you want to generate. Another option is by clicking this insert menu and then click image and then click generate an image or you can also click this insert image button right here and then click generate an image. It will bring you this menu and here I'm going to insert this prompt that I just prepared for this video and I'm already going to select the aspect ratio for the photo. In this case, I'll just select square, click add style. And this optional, by the way, if you don't want to apply any style, you can ignore it. And you can click one thing that is unique here in the Google Docs platform. It is actually not creating just one picture. Even though it says we only need to wait up to 20 seconds, uh, it, is, it is actually able to generate up to four distinct pictures per generation. So it is very different than the Gemini Nano Banana Pro in other platforms where it can only create one picture at a time. It can here, it can create up to four pictures. So if you want to insert them, you can click the picture and then that will be inserted into your document. And by the way, if you want to save this to your computer, you can right click on the image and then click save image as or you can also right click on this image and then click view more, click save, uh, sorry, save to keep. And after that, you can open Google Keep and then you can open the image and you can save that image right from there. So that will ensure you'll get the highest resolution when you're saving that to your device. Now, another benefit that you will receive when you're using Gemini Nano Banana Pro in Google Docs is that there is no watermark in the picture. So there is usually a watermark around this area, but as you can see, there is no watermark on any of these pictures. So that's actually very useful in some situation, but I do notice that this picture is not quite as sharp as when you're creating a picture directly in the Gemini app or website. Usually here you can get a much detailed picture. And by the way, the picture is still 2K, it is 2048 pixel, but it is a bit smoother compared to the other platforms. So perhaps that's one consideration when you're using a Gemini Nano Banana Pro directly in Google Docs. Anyway, this is still an amazing addition into the platform and I think this will make the work a lot more convenient and also a lot faster. So that's basically it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. I wish you a great day ahead.